Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. So you're watching Computer Basic Tutorials Part 4. Today would be I would be uh, covering about or showing you about the types of computers. Let's go ahead and see what are the different types of computers we have. So there are five types of computers that's been learning from the childhood days. So uh, I'll just start off. Uh, I'm going to show you the same thing here. Now, it starts with the personal computers, next comes to the workstations, mini computer, super computers, mainframe computers. So these these are the very different, the basic uh, different types of computers that we can see around the world. Personal computers, workstations, mini computers, super computers, mainframe computers. Now let's see what is or what are the definitions of each of these computers so coming to the workstation personal computers uh, the most common uh, computers are personal computers used in schools colleges homes office etc it is like a, it's a single user computers so what is you, you might be doing in the school colleges homes and offices right workstations it is also a single user computer system but it is uh, the processing is more which is similar to a personal computer but have more powerful microprocessors in it uh, and if you hear you might be hearing like different computers like Intel i3, i5, i7s right so apart from a small basic computers so there are different kinds of computers that are designed that are specifically used at the workstations with more powerful processing okay. then coming to the mini computers these are also called as a mid-range computer these are very small in size and these are lies between personal and military computer because of that they are called as a mini computer it is a, it is a multi user computer system and it can support hundreds of users simultaneously to access that particular system okay and next we have a supercomputers supercomputers are very fast and very powerful they can process huge amount of data per second I next come to the biggest part the mainframe computer so these computers are in very large companies like insurance banking railways airways etc where many people use it to access same type of data this is the uh, mainframe is very powerful which is used for high calculations it can process billion instructions billion instructions at a time and uh, it can store large amount of data right so as you can see as you are seeing the different types of computers starting from personal computer to the mainframe computer so the data storage or the data processing becomes higher and higher so it started from single user to a mid level users and a multi users right so coming to the uh, coming to the supercomputers or mainframe computer where a different multiple users and multiple uh, uh, the multiple users can perform the multiple tasks at a time in a fraction of seconds that can say nanoseconds right so these are the different kinds of uh, computers that we can uh, come across in in our day to day earlier life that's been uh, existing okay so just to recap so the different kinds of computers we have seen a personal computer work workstation mini computer super computer and a mainframe computer okay so again thank you so much for watching this video and thank you everyone so if you like this video kindly please feel free to subscribe for more videos